Yeah, it's a club nobody wants to be a member of. The ones where you've lost a child. If I could have crawled up and died for him, I would have. A grieving father both remembering his late son and celebrating massive changes to hazing, which he says killed his son. Mark Warren, the father of Clay Warren, says he's just one of hundreds of parents who have had a loved one taken because of hazing. His son Clay died back in September of 2002 after coming back from a fraternity-sponsored event. Killed in a car crash by what his father says was a sleep-deprived pledge. Warren killed after being on campus as a freshman after just five weeks. Universities are making major strides to make sure such a tragedy doesn't happen again, but with a new set of rules passed by the state that will eliminate some of the gray areas in our laws. Our Emily Harrison caught up with Clay's father today as Texas Tech begins its first day of recruiting for Greek life. Terry, universities have come a long way since 2002 in fighting hazing, including the Greek squad and even a risk management course made in Clay's honor. But this September will include some of the biggest changes they've made. Mark Warren says it's more than 17 years overdue and no family should go through what he did. It was a phone call from hell. A phone call telling Mark Warren that his son was dead. It was, it was a phone call that no one ever wants to have. You know, you just don't think it's real. Mark says even though it's been years, the pain never really goes away, especially on days like this, the first day of recruitment. When I see people going to college, uh, it, it's a reminder to me that when I got to talk to him the last time I talked to him. But this year is a little bit easier, knowing he was part of the push to make several new changes to how hazing is handled. Before joining an organization, now every single fraternity and sorority will have to report all disciplinary actions and convictions for that organization for a three-year history, which will then be published for everyone to see prior to joining anything. A factor Warren says he wished he knew before allowing his son to rush. You see, nobody told me until after the fact that the fraternity my son was involved in was, you know, we're, we're a bunch of party animals. It also so. creates civil and criminal immunity to any person who voluntarily reports a specific hazing incident as long as they weren't part of the hazing. The amnesty provision in the new hazing bill is do something. Call 911. Don't worry about what's going to happen to your chapter or what's going to be happening to other brothers. You know, the important thing is to get help for that person immediately. And that is a life or death decision. All of this in an effort to stop hazing before it happens and to save the lives of kids like Clay Warren's. Nobody should ever have to bury their child. Now, Greek recruitment will end this Saturday on bid day and on September 12th, all organizations will attend an anti-hazing conference to go over the new rules. Thanks, Emily.